And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Quite possibly the best opening intro music ever. I love this music so much. Um, hey, uh, welcome, and uh, good morning, good afternoon, all that good stuff to all you guys. Uh, today we're going to be playing a little bit of Ogre Battle. So let's go ahead and jump right in. New game. So, um... Ogre Battle. This, this game is, in my personal opinion, maybe my personal favorite RPG ever. Um, I, I just love it. I, I got it more than 20 years ago. Um, and I can't even tell you how many hours I've sunk into this game. And I just kind of thought that, you know, with Ogre, or, uh, not, uh, not Ogre Overlord, but, uh, Unicorn Overlord, you know, having recently, um, dropped and how great that game is, um, I just kind of wanted to go back and play a little bit of, uh, Ogre Battle. So that maybe, you know, people who aren't as familiar with, uh, where that game came from can kind of see the roots and how great those roots are. So we start out here. Warren who is a huge character in the Ogre Battle series, Ogre Battle, Tactics Ogre, all that good stuff. Um, he's going to give us, he's going to give us like a, a tarot reading, kind of much like in the um, Ultima games. Uh, you would pick your class based on, you know, which, um, uh, which answers that you gave to different uh, tarot cards. So we are going to be, let's see if this will fit. Gee, greasy Duck. Okay, so Greasy Duck won't fit, so we'll just be Greasy. That's our name. We are Greasy. Um, I'm going to be female this time. So, just a little bit about my experience with this game. Um, I picked up this game, I believe I was in middle school at the time. Uh, so these uh, these questions, you can use a guide with these if you want to get a specific uh, lord that you want. Um, the upper high alignment lord, they've got like a holy attack and an ice attack. The low alignment lord, which is probably my personal favorite one, uh, all things considered, has a phantom attack and a poison attack. And then there's a bunch of um, lords in the middle that just have like thunder and, you know, samurai abilities and... Uh, just stuff like that. So I'm, I'm not going to use a guide um, because I don't particularly care which lord I get. Um, let's go with that one. Let's go with number two. Uh, so I picked up this game. Um, the first copy that I ever got was in middle school. And my friends and I used to play this all the time and we would just get our butts handed to us. Like, we had no idea what was going on. Uh, my strategy used to be to send out every single one of my units, each one to a separate town, and liberate that town. Well, then my units would just get... Like, there would only be one per town, so, you know, all the enemy would go to one town, and they would, you know, take it back, um, and they would, you know, kill my units, and blah, 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 and I would lose reputation, and I'd lose money, and... I was spending all this money, so like I would run out of money all the time before I really figured out how to play the game. Um, but then once I figured out how to play it, I just I fell in love with this uh, this game, and you know I'm still playing it. You know it's it's 2024 right now. You know 20 some odd years later. I'm gonna go with let's go with Sense of Justice. And the great thing about this series, and I, I do wish that there were more entries to the Ogre Battle series, um, there's Ogre Battle and Tactics Ogre. But the great thing is they, they tie together really well. One of the, um, the first characters that you get, actually the first character that you get in this game, uh, Lons Hamilton, he shows up in um, Tactics Ogre as well. He's a big character there. I believe they changed his name to uh, Lancelot in the... Um, the newer translation. Uh, let's... I don't know. I think I think killing him would be more evil, and I would kind of like to get the evil lord for this one. 
Uh, but if you if you played this game, you played Tactics Ogre, and you played Knight of Lotus, uh, there's just so much that that ties together, and you really oh, and uh, Ogre Battle '64, obviously Ogre Battle '64, fantastic game. Do, 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 standing in front, best trait. Um, let's go with mental strength. So they all tie together really well. Uh, this particular game. I believe over the years I have owned four physical copies of this game um, from you know, middle school to, to now. The first one, that was actually a misclick, but you know, no big deal. Uh, the first one that I got, I very unfortunately and uh, kind of stupidly lent to a friend of mine back in... Um, back in either middle school or early high school. And not only did I lend this friend Ogre Battle, I also lent this friend uh, Tactics Ogre and Suicoden 2. I, I forgot about the, uh, the Butt Fairy. What's going on, Butt Fairy? Okay, so we have chosen our character. We get a tarot card to start with. This doesn't really have anything to do... Our son, probably the overall worst tarot card. Um, anyway, I lent this friend, um, you know, those three games, and I never saw them again. Um, not, not a solid way to go. Okay, so which lord did I get? Okay, so three sword strikes in the front, one sonic strike in the back. Got some fighters, Valkyrie, okay. Okay, okay. This is not too bad. I'm gonna... Switch that around just a little bit. Uh, so I got another um, copy. I got another copy of Ogre Battle on eBay, um, and a uh, copy of Tactics Ogre. Uh, now Tactics Ogre, that's again one of my favorite games of all time. It's amazing. Um, but that one, I actually had to. Uh, there was a blockbuster video back at the time. Uh, so we're going to go to the Castle of Warren here, and at that blockbuster video they had a copy. And this was towards the end of the PlayStation's life. One of the cool things about the PlayStation version is it gives you the um, the rundown of what's happening here, which in the Super NES version, it does not. It's just like a blank screen. So basically, um, uh, the Empress, who uh, she, she used to be the queen, um, there were these four uh, kings who really didn't like what she was uh, doing. Um, because she, she understood that, that uh, the Lotus Empire was going to invade, and she was like, hey, we should all work together. And they were like, no, we're not going to do that. We're going to kill you. And so she went, no, you're not. And she killed all of them um, and started this whole big empire, and that's what we're rebelling against. So this is uh, day one of our new rebellion. Uh, so I actually had to end up um, going to a Blockbuster video where they had a copy, and... Um, I actually purchased it from Blockbuster. So we're going to go down here and get this treasure. This is our first treasure of the game. Let's see what we got. Okay, Fire Staff, not too bad, not too bad. And let's go over here because there's another treasure over there. Um, so, so there, there we go. I have uh, replenished Ogre Battle and Tactics Ogre. Well, I actually played the game so much, um, Ogre Battle, that uh, one day the disc broke in the PlayStation. So uh, that's two copies right there. I got another copy off of eBay, um, and I actually took the broken copy and I glued it onto my guitar, which has been uh, named Ogre Battle ever since. And then I believe um, I picked up another copy later when I moved in. And, like, I didn't have the original with me, so I just bought another one off eBay. So, four separate physical copies of this game over the, over the years. Now, for this game, I'm really only concerned with getting two characters. I want to get, um, I want to get Deneb, who is an amazing character. She shows up in every single, um... Ogre Battle or Tactics Ogre game, D 
demon hammer. Okay, cool. Let's go back over here. And I want to get Galf, the demon. So we're going to be going super low alignment here. Um, I'm going to keep my alignment and reputation up for a little while so that I can get the Brunhild sword and then I can do a couple other things. Um, but we're going to be tanking our alignment and uh, reputation pretty hard fairly early on. And we are just going to be super, super evil. Um, and I want to do this for two reasons. One, because I just like those characters. Deneb and Golf are just they're great. Um, number two, because... I kind of feel like, with this game, if you get all the special recruitable characters, you're kind of playing on easy mode. You know, you've got three Dragoons who can just one-shot anybody. Um, you've got an Angel with super high stats. Um, you've got just all these different characters who, who just get super... Like, if you put them all in the same party, you can get super overpowered. I mean, Saradin... Um, Warren, just absolutely, uh, absolutely crazy. So I want to add a little bit more challenge. Uh, plus, I've already gotten the world ending, um, and I did do a run one time where I got every single um, character. So I've, I've already, except for golf. Um, so I've, I've already done that. Um, and with with ogre battle and tactics ogre, I really prefer to do. Well, not, not Ogre Battle and Tactics Ogre, um, Ogre Battle and Ogre Battle 64. I really prefer to do the more low alignment runs, um, especially in uh, Ogre Battle 64, because you get this um, uh, this Hawkman who gives you this, um, I think it's called the Target Cap, which is a really nice item. Um, you can get a Werewolf, you can get another, um, another Black Knight, which is great, because they're limited in how many you can get in that game. Um, and also, in Ogre Battle 64, I kind of feel like the Zenobians are very overpowered. Um, I got the Zenobians, you know, in my first playthrough of that game, and oh, that game is just, if you've never played it, like, when the Zenobians come in, it is just amazing, you know, to, to see the old crew in action. Uh, it's, it's great. So I recommend playing it, you know, once on, on good alignment, and then going going back and you know doing a lower alignment uh, run, you know for subsequent uh, playthroughs. So Warren's just kind of telling us what we got to do here. We got to go um, find some hidden towns, and he's going to test us to see if we are really capable of being the leader that this um, this rebellion needs. I also really like this game because, uh, much like Tactics Ogre, we start out very much in Meteor Res, right? There's all this stuff going on. We don't necessarily know too much about it. We are just thrust directly into the action. And and that's it. You know, we're just kind of thrown in here and we got to figure stuff out. And that's kind of something that I wish more modern games would um, would do. Like, I'm not a big fan of tutorials. Um, I kind of feel like, you know, I can I can figure this stuff out. I don't really need, you know, a, a little tutorial to, um, to show me how to play the game. I can just mess around with it and figure it out. So that's kind of why... I, okay, another sun card. Great. Um, that's kind of why I like, you know, older games like this and like... Um, Especially like uh, Ultima Online and EverQuest, because those just threw you right in there. They didn't tell you nothing. Just threw you right into the deep end and said, "All right, good luck." But this game is—it's just top notch. It is one of the greatest. Um, I think one of the best RPGs ever made. And I kind of felt like. On the channel, you know, I don't do a whole lot of um, games unless I feel like I have something to say about them. Uh, I have, you know, something to contribute, like uh, Xenonauts. Um, I did that insane Iron Man run pretty much because I had seen a few insane Iron Man runs, but not that many. Um, 
and obviously a lot of people had said, you know, a lot of, had had spoken about Xenonauts um, a lot, and they had a lot of good stuff to say, but um, I, I didn't see a whole lot of it, so I kind of thought I could, you know, slip in there, and I thought that, you know, that playthrough might have been beneficial to people. And this is kind of in that same uh, vein. Um, I've seen a few uh, playthroughs of Ogre Battle, but, you know, it's it's nothing like, um, you know, the big current games like Baldur's Gate 3 and, and all that goodness. Alright, so here we have Lanz. Amazing character. Uh, you don't get much backstory on him in this game, but if you play Tactics Ogre, then he is he becomes very much a, a main character and you, uh, you learn a lot more about him. Um, he's got a, a very tragic uh, past, and at the end of Tactics Ogre, uh, he, he ends off in a place that I really wish we had gotten uh, some some closure to, because we, we don't really know what's going on with him at the end of Tactics Ogre. Um, so, um, you know, I would I would hope that maybe one day we'll get some uh, closure to, you know, what, what actually happens to Lons and if he ever, um, you know, if he ever recovers. So he's going to join us. Okay, so let's go ahead and head over here. See, now we're going to have to fight Warren, and the thing is that this is one of those games that uh, you actually can lose the first uh, fight. I mean, Warren, he's pretty tough, and he can and will, you know, two-shot your uh, leader under certain circumstances. So we're actually going to have Lons fight him. Okay, I didn't actually want to fight him yet. I was just trying to get uh, close, but okay. Uh, you do have to keep that in mind with this uh, game. Where you are and where the enemy is counts. I really didn't want to fight him at night, because he's low alignment. And he's going to be stronger at night. So overall, not the best way to get started. Uh, so with this game, what I'm going to try to do, well, with this playthrough, I'm going to try to keep our um, most of our units as low alignment as possible. We'll, uh, you know, we'll obviously have high alignment units, and I don't think you can really um, get away from having high alignment units. It just, you know, it just kind of happens over the course of the game. Um, but what I'm not going to be doing is, uh, with the exception of our leader, we might, um, we might manipulate his alignment a little bit. But I'm not going to be going around, you know, manipulating alignments. I'm not going to be um, farming neutral encounters. Uh, to manipulate alignment, I'm just gonna, you know, play the game, and uh, it will will get the alignment that we get. Uh, I'm gonna do the best I can to keep it low alignment, but you know, we're gonna kind of see what happens. Our fate now lies in your hands, Greasy. Okay, so that was the first map. We have Warren, we have Lons, we've got um, kind of a stable of characters. If we want to, we can come back here and uh, recruit more with our Valkyrie that we have and our, I think uh, Lons has some knights and some uh, wizards. So that is not a bad idea. Uh, but that is not going to be something that we do today. That's going to be something that we do in the next episode. So I'm just going to save our game here. Uh, this is my my regular file. Um, just kind of my, you know, my file for me, old Greg. You ever drink Bailey's from a shoe? Okay, so I'm going to save down here. And when we come back next time, we'll go ahead and uh, get that army situation all sorted out, and we will head into um, the border of Sharom.
So thanks for uh, joining me, and I will see you guys next time.